I'll get on, walk around the collector and just loosen them up. I'll do a couple of lap um, goes of trot on either rein, then um, canter, just loosen her off. And then we'll do some more intense trot work, um, doing lots of flexions, making them bend, um, coupling them up, and then do the same in canter. Um, then I'll start with a little cross, um, try and get a steady, deep canter to it just make them come from there. Then we'll have a, a little upright, doing the same, and gradually build it up until it's about the same height as it is in the ring. Um, and then we'll have a small white-ish parallel um, coming off of a steady canter, and then a bit bigger and have a bit more stronger canter to it, and then finish off with a bigger, wider parallel with a nice strong canter. And then we'll have a nice deep upright just before I go in the to get them sitting back up on that. Um, yeah, we have one in either side on each foot. Um, normally we'll have small ones and, and then if it is really muddy, slippery, then we'll have the large ones on both. All my ponies wear Mexican nose bands. Um, normally when I'm riding them at home, they all wear snaffles. Um, any youngsters I ride, they have former snaffles. It's only like when the, the ones that are a bit stronger in the ring I wear, I've been wearing pelhams on them. And they wear Martin girls as well. I have very dust front boots and when they're in the ring at the show, they have very dust back boots. Um, giving them a little trot round in the long ring and then walking them around until they stop puffing.